Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to lecture number 15. So, we have been discussing about the classical orbital elements. So, we will continue with that and also what we have done that from the burnout data, burnout data means already I was stated that R0 and V0 is given. So, find A, this is given, find A, E, I, small omega, capital omega and theta. Okay. And then there will be the reverse inverse problem of this. So, inverse problem of this will be given A E i capital omega small omega and theta. So, from there find x y z x dot y dot and z dot. So, these are the two problems. So, as I told you for mentioned you earlier that uh, we will be doing by the scalar method also finding these elements. So, already we have done all these things and also while working out I, I have done it by the uh, scalar method. So, few things uh, this also I have done by the scalar method. So, omega and theta, uh, theta already we have done by scalar method also. So, only thing is remains about the omega. So, I will quickly work out this and then we will go to the inverse problem. So, we have written R 0 equal to uh, x 0 e 1 cap y 0 e 2 cap and z 0 e 3 cap and v 0 equal to x 0 dot e 1 cap e 3 cap. And from there then I have to derive this uh, H of we have already derived which is R 0 cross V 0 and that we have written as this expression see if uh, it is difficult to remember, but if you know the basic principle you can always work it out ok any time we can work out. So, for saving time I have to refer back ok I am not finding those materials ok anyway for this we can write as y 0 z 0 dot minus y 0 dot z 0 e 1 cap plus x 0 dot. Just look back into the previous lectures uh, I have done here. this part I am writing this part there ok. So, if we utilize this and uh, see re rewriting the whole thing there <coughs> for ready reference e 2 cap and then x 0 times y 0 dot minus y 0 times x 0 dot e 3 cap. We will write in a proper sequence this is z 0 times x 0 dot minus z 0 dot times x 0. the same sequence we are following ok. So, if, uh, whatever I have written here, so I will verify with the our earlier derivation it will take a few minutes.
y0 z0 dot and y dot 0 z0 then uh, x dot 0 z this is ok x0 x0 so x0 here the same thing has got repeated see the mistake we have done here ok e 2 is x 0 z 0 dot this is fine and here this is e 3 is x 0 y 0 dot this is y 0 dot. So, we have to correct it x dot equal to x dot 0 y 0. So, uh, this is a uh, big error. And this will be this is a big error that has crept in okay. that is why I wanted to verify by writing copying from one place to another place we then this kind of error creeps in ok anywhere. H two is X zero. So here this is okay. We have done mistake in S three. Okay, so this is fine. Okay. S three is appearing anywhere. Here S three is appearing. So this place we have to do the correction this is s 3 is x 0 y 0 dot and x 0 dot times y 0. So, this is the correction required. So, I will note it down so that I can correct in later on. this is ok so uh, this correction is required here already I have told you that this type of error uh, creep in while writing where the attention gets diverted while thinking of the subject. So, I hope uh, we do not have any other place in this mistake. So, this is this all all ok. these are all ok. This we have done the correction here the correction is there this is y 0 and this is y 0.
x dot y 0. Okay, so we have been here in this place, so this is fine. Uh, this part is okay. Y zero z zero, y dot z zero z zero x. This is okay. Okay, so now we, uh, I told you that we'll do the same thing through the scalar method. So scalar method, uh, whatever we have done earlier, it's uh, almost the same. There is nothing new in that, but still uh, some possibilities are there to explore it further. And let us go through that quickly, so that we in this uh, in this lecture we are able to finish it. So h we are writing as h times e h cap okay. and already with the equation for this we have written. Okay. Now, we need some diagram to work it out. The projection of this will show again by a dotted line. So, this is the projection of the orbit, perigee line we are showing somewhere here this is p and uh, so this angle this is small omega and uh, this angle we are will write there as m and uh, this angle we will show it as cap 90 degree so, showing like this means it is a 90 degree angle and then we have the satellite here in this place. So, this angle we are showing from this place to this place as theta. So, angle between these two then this becomes omega plus theta minus 90 degree. Now, projection of this m onto the x y plane, this will write as m prime okay. and then we can join it by a line. Like this and this line we will extend it on this side and we will write here m double prime this is o okay. because this angle this angle here this is 90 degree so therefore this wedge shaped part we have drawn here this is o m prime m this angle also this is i and normal to the orbit this angle is also i so here i am not showing but uh, because of uh, this figure will get uh, much more complex it will look bad 
this angle is from this place to this place this is capital omega this we have written as n this as n prime ok. So, if we take the x y plane this is the x direction y direction ok this is the x and y direction The nodal line it is appearing between x and y. So, the nodal line is appearing like this. So, this is your n prime and here it is n and this point is O. So, your O m prime it is a perpendicular to the line O m is perpendicular to O n and also O m prime this will be perpendicular to O n. So, here we will have O m prime and on this side we will have here m double prime. Okay, so, the, uh, this is the construct. Now, this angle we have written as capital omega. So, naturally this angle then this becomes capital omega and uh, this angle also gets to capital omega, this angle will be capital omega and rest accordingly this angle will be capital omega minus 90 degree 90 minus capital uh, omega ok. Now, we can work out this part. So, E n cap which is the unit vector along this direction we have written as cos capital omega e 1 cap plus sin capital omega e 2 cap. This already we have done. Also, we have e o m prime this unit vector along the e o m prime in this direction this will be equal to minus e cap o m double prime. And how we can write the E O m prime vector unit vector this will be E 2 cap is along this direction. So, cos capital omega E 2 cap and from here this place this is uh, plus cos 90 plus capital omega E 1 cap. So, this becomes minus sin capital omega E 1 cap plus cos capital omega E 2 cap. So, therefore, E cap is O m prime here it is E cap O m double prime this will be equal to minus of this as we have written here from this place. So, this will be sin capital omega E 1 cap minus cos capital omega E 2 cap. So, why we are trying to do like this there is a reason behind this which will be shortly visible to you. This angle is i therefore, this angle is 90 minus i ok. This is each vector here. So, each vector we can break along this direction also we can break along this direction. It can be broken along this direction and this direction or either we can take unit vector component along this direction unit vector from this component along this direction to get unit vector along the h direction. So, this is the process of working. So, already we have written u o m the, this. Uh, so, we have e h what I was telling that this can be broken along this direction or either we can calculate unit vector along this direction which is e h cap. 
So, E h cap unit vector will be E 3 cap cos i plus E cap O double m prime cos 90 minus i. So, E 3 cos i and then plus E o m double prime sin i. Now, insert the value for the E o m double prime. So, E o m double prime is sin i sin capital omega E 1 cap sin capital omega E 1 cap minus cos capital omega E 2 cap E 2 cap and plus cos i times e 3 cap. So, this is the situation here sin capital omega e 1 cap minus cos capital omega e 2 cap plus cos i times e 3 cap. And here this is multiplied by uh, cos i we have written here one part we are forgetting. So, uh, I will have to rewrite it. See we have uh, this part we have written first. So, sin capital omega E 1 this part then this multiplied by sin i this is the missing part and then cos i times e 3 cap. So, we expand it sin i times sin capital omega e 1 cap minus sin i times cos capital omega e 2 cap and cos i times e 3 cap. So, this is e h cap the unit vector along the h direction. So, once we have got this now h vector already we know this h vector e h will also be equal to h by h. So, h we have already written this is h 1 times e 1 cap h 2 times e 2 cap plus h 3 times e 3 cap divided by h. So, this must be equal to this quantity here and therefore, h 1 by h this we can write as sin i times sin capital omega h 2 by h equal to minus sin i times cos capital omega and h 3 divided by h equal to cos i. So, first we take the cos i cos i equal to s 3 divided by h and s 3 uh, if we go back s 3 is the quantity this one x 0 y 0 y 0 x 0 dot x y So, already I have told you there is no ambiguity in getting i because the uh, from here the i varies between 0 and 180 degree. So, exactly you are going to get the uh, 
right value of the i using this expression. So, there is no problem in this. Okay, and this is the same thing we have got from the uh, using the earlier method only thing there we wrote it wrongly uh, while writing it. So, that correction I have done right now you have seen it, but uh, also I will introduce it in the video that I will have to edit the video. Okay. Okay, so, if, uh, then the other two we have here uh, h 1 and h 2 using this sin is common to sin i is common to both of them. So, using this we will be able to determine uh, sin capital omega this way, the capital omega angle. Okay. So, this is the same thing what we have done here. So, h 1 equal to h times sin i times sin capital omega sin i times sin capital omega and h 2 equal to minus h times sin i times cos capital omega this is what is here. Okay. Now, look here in this part this part is always positive because i lies between we, we can see for here 0 degree means your orbit is just in the like lying like this along this direction and 180 means it is just going in the opposite direction. So, we can put here also the equality sign it is not a problem. So, it varies between 0 that means in one case the satellite is going here in this direction another case satellite is coming here in this direction. So, here equality sign is not a problem. So, it varies between 0 uh, and 180 degree for i equal to 100 the problem will be that sin 0 equal to 0 and sin 180 equal to also 0 this is the problem. So, which one then it is a referring to that you have to decide and that is why I told you uh, that if we just keep this part. So, this ambiguity will not be producing. Okay, so, we do not have to produce the ambiguity. So, in that case while i equal to 0, so we are getting this 0 value and when i is less than 180 degree, so still it will be positive, but it will have certain value. That means, our figure it goes like this. So, uh, I was discussing something I have strayed uh, somewhat here in this problem once I put i equal to 0. Okay. So, this we got as cos 0 equal to 1 and if I put i equal to 180 degree. So, we get this as minus 1. So, there is no ambiguity this is the point where I was telling. So, for that case we can put here we can put here in this place that uh, i lies between 0 and 180 degree it will not produce any ambiguity as we can see from this curve this is the cos curve which is going from 0 to pi okay. in this portion this is positive in this portion this is negative and therefore no ambiguity here but for the sign sign is always positive between 0 and 180 degree so, this is always positive this quantity capital omega it varies between 0 and 360 degree. So, we have to fix it up. So, how do we fix up we know this quantity is positive here this quantity is positive. So, if we know from this place sin capital omega and cos capital omega sin which will be nothing but h 1 divided by h sin i and uh, minus h 2 divided by h sin i. So, depending on the sin of 
both of them will be able to resolve in which quadrant they are going to lie. Okay, it's a very simple resolving it. So this is the objective. So you can see that uh, by the scalar method or by the vector method. Uh, here, this is also a vector method, but the work is little different. We have the way you see that how uh, we have proceeded. Okay, we have taken an unit vector along this direction, and then we have worked out. So th this is bit longer. Okay, but no doubt uh, it's a longer, but uh, it's a another way of solving the same problem. So as I told you, in the mechanics we solve the same problem in multiple ways. These so, possibilities are there. Okay. And uh, moreover, also I will uh, uh, I would like to remind you that whenever you uh, detect any error uh, during your uh, course, because while writing, this error is bound to creep in. So, if you find find any error, so you, you can report it during the while the course is running. So, we'll later on also we can edit it. Okay, so we have done this part. Now, what we are going to do, we know this vector okay. and let us assume that this E cap vector which we were earlier knowing, this is not known. Suppose, suppose this is not known, this is not known. So, in that case what we will do, if this vector E cap is not known. So, uh, there are other ways of doing this. So, in that case what we do, we take this okay, and uh, we take this part and also this is the vector. So, utilizing this then we will be able to solve the problem. So, uh, let us see how do we do this. So, I will finish in this lecture this part. So, E n cap we have written as cos capital omega E 1 cap plus sin capital omega E 2 cap you can see here this is theta plus omega. So, the angle between angle from this place going from this place to this place okay. all the way this is omega and this is theta. So, omega plus theta this is the angle between this vector and this vector. So, here we have written this. So, this gets reduced to r cos theta plus omega and this is r the uh, r dot E n cap and we know the E n vector and r vector also and therefore, we will be able to solve it. So, we can write here we can write here as r 0 r 0 cos theta plus omega this equal to x 0 e 1 cap plus y 0 e 2 cap z 0 e 3 cap times e n cap is cos capital omega e 1 cap plus sin capital omega e 2 cap. So, therefore, this gets reduced to x 0 cos capital omega plus y 0 sin capital omega. So, this is r 0 cos theta plus small omega. So, this is one equation. Let us name this as equation A. Now, unit vector along the O m direction along this direction, this we can get okay. and if we know the unit vector along this direction. So, from here to here 
this angle can be computed. Theta angle is uh, it is wrongly shown here theta angle is from this place to this place this is theta angle theta angle is not up to this point. So, theta angle is from the argument of perigee to this point ok this is your theta angle. So, here this part perhaps I have shown only this part here. So, the, the, this is theta this is uh, and this angle is omega plus theta which is omega angle is from this place to this place this is omega ok. So, omega plus theta minus 90 degree. So, uh, repeating on the same figure the figure gets complicated. So, omega plus theta minus 90 degree. So, this angle if we know and the vector along the O m direction if we are aware of we will be able to work out another way. So, if, uh, here again we write uh, R 0 dot E cap O m. Okay. So, this will be R 0 magnitude E O m cap magnitude and angle between them is cos uh, here theta plus omega or omega plus theta omega plus theta minus 90 degree. So, this becomes R 0 R 0 cos 90 minus omega plus theta. So, this is R 0 sin omega plus theta and on the left hand side this is R 0 dot E O m cap. So, we need to know this E O m cap if we know this then we will be able to work out this problem. So, we need to know E O m cap vector this we have to determine. So, for again going back coming to this figure. So, you can see that along this direction this component will come from E 3 cap E 3 cap the angle again for I will go and draw on the next page this figure without that it is uh, becoming very complicated. Okay, I will draw the figure here. this is the m direction this is o somewhere here satellite is in this place. So, this is s ok. So, we are looking for E o m cap E 3 cap is along this direction this is x y and z. So, you can see that E o m cap vector this can be composed of this angle is 90 minus i 90 minus i ok. So, E 3 cap cos 90 minus i and plus then we have the footprint of this orbit on the x y plane. So, this footprint is from this place to this place and this we have here written as this point as m and in direction in this direction we have written as this is m this is m prime and this is m double prime ok. So, we need the o m prime vector ok and this angle we know that this angle is i. So, we have to write here E o m prime E o m prime cos i okay. and then we have to write the this value how much this is. So, this we have already worked out and uh, this vector is 
basically minus cos i sin capital omega e1 cap plus cos i cos capital omega e2 cap plus sin i times e3 cap. From where we are getting this? See E O double M prime we already have here. Okay. And uh, E O M prime is also there, E O M prime is here, okay. E O M prime this is available to us in this place. So, we use this E O M prime is minus sin i E 1 cap cos i times E 2 cap, I will write there sin and uh, cos, sin and cos. sin and cos sin mm, cos capital omega e2 cap so e o m cap uh, what we have written here this vector component and this vector component we are taking multiplying it. So, for this is E O uh, I will erase it this line let us erase and work out properly there is a error in here. See this part is ok here along this direction we have the vector E O m prime cap. So, component of this vector along this direction is E O m cap, this component and this component. So, E O m cap will be defined which we are defining here. So, E O m prime cos i. So, we write here E 3 cap sin i plus E O m prime which is here which we are writing from the previous page E O m prime minus sin capital omega cos capital omega minus sin capital omega cos capital omega. So, minus sin capital omega E 1 cap plus cos capital omega E 2 cap and this is not a dot product here, this is simple thing and then cos i. So, once we expand it, so this is E 3 cap sin i and then expand it again minus sin capital omega cos i times E 1 cap plus cos capital, capital omega cos i times E 2 cap. So, this is E O m cap. So, now once we know this vector, so this is what I wrote earlier. So, I will rearrange it uh, write first this one. So, minus sin capital omega times cos i E 1 cap plus cos capital omega cos i times E 2 cap and plus sin i times E 3 cap. So, this is in proper order. So, this is E O m, this is E O m cap. So, once we have got this, now it becomes easy to work our problem. So, what we were doing that uh, we have written this equation. So, you see that on the left hand side R 0 is already known. So, this is also known now. So, in the next page we can write R 0 is x 0 E 1 cap plus y 0 E 2 cap 
plus z 0 e 3 cap and dot dot product with minus sin i cap sin capital omega cos i minus sin capital omega cos i times e 1 cap plus cos capital omega cos i cos capital omega cos i times e 2 cap and sin i times e 3 cap sin i times e 3 cap and this is nothing but this quantity r 0 sin omega plus theta. So, this is r 0 sin omega plus theta equal to this quantity. So, right hand side we rewrite it it is a dot product. So, it is easy to work out minus x 0 sin capital omega cos i plus y 0 uh, cos capital omega cos i plus z 0 sin i. Okay, so these terms are correct. Once we have done this, so R0 sin omega plus theta is available and R0 cos omega plus theta is also available. Now, we, if we divide R0 sin omega plus theta divided by R0 cos omega plus theta, then this gets reduced to minus x0 sin capital omega cos i plus y 0 cos capital omega cos i plus z 0 sin i divided by r 0 cos omega plus theta that we have to bring in r 0 cos this is x 0 cos capital omega y 0 sin capital omega x 0 x 0 cos capital omega plus y 0 sin capital omega. So, this implies tan omega plus theta this will be the quantity in the bracket here. So, this way we have been able to determine omega plus theta. Now, you know that theta already we have determined. So, theta already we have determined. So, omega plus theta minus theta that gives you omega. Okay. So, this way once we have obtained this what we have done a e small i capital omega and theta already we have determined. So, in this method we are determining together omega plus theta and from there we are then subtracting this theta to get the value of omega. So, omega can be determined in this way. Now, there is a problem with this while we try to do this theta plus omega estimation okay, and theta estimation and from there then you are subtracting this and, and this is from here you are trying to get this omega. So, what happens that you know that x 0, y 0 and z 0 these are not known exactly. Okay. These are never known exactly this is you can take it for granted because these are obtained from rho, rho dot information after processing from multiple ground station. Okay. So, they will have certain amount of error. So, if you 
try to use this so the error creeps in in this value and also error has crept in in this value so the error is also coming here in this place so uh, somehow sometimes they get combined and the error in this omega this gets magnified okay and therefore this method uh, using this method it's not very good that uh, we uh, determine theta plus omega and from there then we determine omega whatever we have done earlier we have separately determined omega by taking uh, the angle between this en cap and uh, along the perigee direction perigee direction i have not drawn here in this place but uh, we can draw this here also so i will do it in the pink so somewhere let us say that this is the perigee direction so this is p so this angle from here to here then this will be your a small omega so between this this vector and this vector if we are trying to find the angle omega directly so this is much superior okay and thereafter between p and s whatever the angle is there from this point and this point then we can uh, get the angle theta uh, otherwise uh, using this method the scalar method that i have followed there it's a uh, prone to this error problem because uh, x0 y0 z0 x dot y dot and z dot they are never known exactly and therefore we have to be careful while doing the orbit determination problem so once you get into this area and we work in not uh, work on all these problems so you will come to know what are the problems you are facing so i hope uh, that uh, for today this is enough i will stop here uh, the inverse problem is remaining so uh, i thought of uh, finishing it uh, by 15th lecture but i will have to go to the another lecture for uh, the inverse problem that is getting a e i capital omega a small omega and theta all these are given from there you get x y z x dot y dot z dot so this we will do in the next lecture thank you for listening thank you very much